Hi guys, so let's uh, continue reading. Okay, so it's 10.17 in the morning, in the evening right now. And it's July 16, 2023, Sunday. So, we have to really finish this entire pages kasi I've been behind for a couple of days. As you can see, I don't, I wasn't able to finish it like in one sitting. So, uh, let's finish this in one sitting right now. So, we're, we're on to page 112 and 113 of the book flow. Be patient, guys. We will, we will finish this and we will find another interesting book that is good for you and me. Okay? So, our culture seems to have been placing a decreasing emphasis on exposing young children to musical skills. So, whenever cuts are there are to be made in a school's budget, courses in music are the first to be eliminated. It is discouraging how these three basic skills, so important for improving the quality of life, are generally considered to be superfluous in the current educational climate. Deprived of serious exposure to music, children grow into teenagers who make up for their early deprivation. Deprivation by investing inordinate amounts of psychic energy into their own music. So they form rock groups, buy tapes and records, and generally become captives of a subculture that does not offer many opportunities for making consciousness more complex. So even when children are taught music, the usual problem often arises too much emphasis and is placed on how they perform and too little on what they experience. So parents who push their children to excel at the violin are generally not interested in what in whether the children are actually enjoying the playing. They want the child the child to perform well enough to attract attention, to win prizes, and to end up on the stage of Carnegie Hall. Okay. So Cut na muna tayo dyan, guys. Hindi <laughs> ko continue ko later or maybe tomorrow kasi um, my tummy is not feeling okay. So, ayun. Um, let's cut it muna. But I will continue it for sure. Ha? Okay. Hi, guys. So, good evening and we're going to continue our reading uh, that I was, you know, left unfinished last time. So, it's 11.35 in the evening right now. Um, I'm really working on a lot of things because I've got a lot of crazy news um, today. Mm -hmm. So I didn't expect that. That you know, I have many questions like few uh, months ago, few weeks ago, few months ago. I have a lot of questions and I got the answer um, today. So now I have shitty things. I have decision making to do for the next couple of months and it's so annoying that I have to do it because I have to ask uh, people again about you know my uh, career stuff so anyways guys uh, it's it's nothing like you know super uh, extreme but it's my career and my career is extreme for me so, so I'm focusing all of my energy in there so <laughs> it's crazy nowadays that's why I'm not um, the business is kind of starting already the <laughs> it's not yet toxic but it's there so just wanted to say that I think I will be talking to a lot of not a lot like some powerful people like for the next couple of uh, months months so I don't know I'll see what I can do and let's see what will happen right so um, I'm finishing multiple contracts all at once I hope that they made the right decision or really hope that I will be planted in places that I will bloom okay because right now it's not yet 
super stable like the stability that I want it's not there yet but I'm not really worried about it so I'm not extremely worried but I'm worried you, you get what I mean guys <laughs> something like that okay, but right now let's go back to reading dami ko ng chika already it's Monday today July 17 2023 have to say that because I am tracking my sanity <laughs> my life guys so yeah uh, let's continue reading uh here listen okay so sit down and relax okay so actually i received also an amazing uh gift today <laughs> it's unexpected also so thank you so much so this day is a good news yeah i'll just think of it like a good news overall because i got the news but it's kind of like a lot of work like it's not a lot of work but for me i have to rethink about things over again so um yeah just have to say that so let's continue guys so by doing so they succeed in perverting music into the opposite of what it was designed to be so they turn it they turn it into a source of psychic disorder parental expectations for musical behavior often create great stress and sometimes a complete breakdown so lauren hollander who was a child prodigy at the piano and whose perfectionist father played first violin in the Minis orchestra tells how he used to get lost in ecstasy when playing the piano alone but how he used to quake in sheer terror when he when his demanding adult mentors were present my voice i'm reading slowly because i'm really tired from <laughs> work i also went to uh i also talked to some people right now so that's why my energy is uh you know not that much so when he was a teenager the fingers of his hands froze during a concert ritual i repeat it um a concert recital and he could not open his clawed hands for many years thereafter so wait lang. some subconscious mechanism below the threshold of his awareness had decided to spare him the constant pain of parental criticism now hollander recovered from the psychological induced paral paralysis spends much of his time helping other gifted young instrumentalists to enjoy music the way it is meant to be enjoyed although playing an instrument is best learned when young it is really never too late to, to start some music teachers specialize in adult and other and older students and many successful businessmen decides to learn the piano after age 50 Oh, singing, in a, singing in a choir and playing in an amateur string ensemble are two of the most exhilarating ways to experience the blending of one's skills with those of others. So personal computers now come with sophisticated software that makes composition easy and allows one to listen immediately to the orchestration. Learning to produce a harmonious sound is not only enjoyable but like the mastery of any complex skill it also helps strengthen the self we have a subtopic here uh, the joys of tasting do you like it guys me this is my favorite thing to do is to taste <laughs> tasting so joak Joaquino, Joaquino, I don't know how to pronounce this. This is like Latin. Rossini, the composer of William Tell, and many other operas, had a good grasp of the relationship between music and food. What love is to the heart, uh, appetite is to the stomach. Uh, the stomach is 
the conductor that leads and leavens up the great orchestra of our emotions. Okay? So, if music modulates our feelings, so does food. And all the fine cuisines of the world are based on that knowledge. So, the musical metaphor is echoed by Heinz Meyer, Leibniz, and German physicist, who has recently written several cookbooks, The Joy of Cooking at Home. He says, compared to eating in one of the best restaurants, it's like playing a string quartet uh, in the living room as compared to a great concert. So, for the first few hundred years of American history, food preparation was generally approached in a no-nonsense manner. Even as late as 25 years ago, the general attitude was that feeding your face so was alright, but to make too much fuss about it was somehow deg- uh, decad- decadent. In the past two decades, of course, the trend has reversed itself so sharply that earlier misgivings about gastronomic excess excesses some almost to have been justified. Now we have foodies and wine freaks who take the pleasures of the palate as seriously as they were right in a brand new religion. Saglit lang guys ah. Okay. So, gourmet journals proliferate the frozen food sections of supermarkets bulge with esoteric culinary concoctions and all sorts of chefs run popular shows on TV. Not so long ago, Italian or Greek cuisine was considered the height of exotic fare. So, now one finds excellent Vietnamese, Moroccan, or Peruvian restaurants in parts of the country where a generation earlier one couldn't find anything but steak and potatoes for a radius of a hundred miles round. So, hundred miles around, one of the many lifestyle changes that have taken place in the United States in the past few decades. Few have been as startling as the turnabout concerning food okay so eating like sex is one of the basic pleasures built into our nervous system the esm studies done with electronic pagers highly technological urban society people still feel most happy and relaxed at meal times although while at table they lack some of other dimensions of the flow experience such as high concentration a sense of strength and feeling of self-esteem but in every culture the simple process of ingesting calories has been transformed with time into an art form that provides enjoyment as well as pleasure we're done guys okay so i'm a little bit tired no i'm mentally tired not physically maybe 60 percent but overall my head is spinning so so much so <laughs> i'm thinking and uh, i'm thinking a lot of things because i wanted to like accomplish a lot of things so good on guys so um i think we're done for today guys i've already given you a lot of my energy <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to you guys ah so ayan uh thank you for listening um thank you for helping me make this world a better place for all of us in the future generation always remember that if you are you know guys those times like everything is crumbling in your life you know so i guarantee you that there will be times like that so make yourself ready i mean just let it crumble whatever it is relationships jobs career i don't know think of whatever guys so just let it be because it will be um if something happens like that it will be like uh what do you call this destruction for a new thing to um i can't find the word guys <laughs> Basta alam nyo na yun, okay? So, let's cut it na. Gabi na. I'm still going to write some things, okay? So, 
I will see you again um, tomorrow, hopefully. I don't know, guys. So, stay tuned. Bye. You've got a piece of me and honestly, my love.